guys, I have some news. So I decided to join or copy my friend slash fellow art YouTuber Ahmed Al Jory by starting a video series called Reference Wednesdays. So in these videos, I'm basically going to be using reference photos, doing some study sessions of my own and talking about relevant topics when it comes to using references, figure drawing, character design, etc. So in this one, I'll be using Studio Graffiti's casual female reference pack. It's got a ton of amazing photos. I honestly just had a hard time picking which ones to use for the session because they all look so fun and totally perfect for my characters. So just a quick heads up if you wanted to check out this pack. It does contain a lot of not safe for work uh, nude photos. So just be aware of that. But yeah, if you want to check it out, um, there is a Gumroad link and a 20% discount code in my description so take a look and decide if it's something you want to check out i personally picked this specific pack because i think it works really great with the topic that i chose and i absolutely love these photos and i think they're perfect for character art and comics so without further ado today's topic is how to merge figure drawing skills into stylized character art the topic that i want to tackle and discuss in this video is that of the disconnect that some of us feel when studying art fundamentals, especially when the active part of learning seems to be too different and removed from the type of work that we actually want to create or are more familiar with. In this particular case, I want to specifically talk about figure drawing in relation to stylized character art. So if you find yourself drawing figures from photos or life and feel frustrated at how these skills don't seem to make their way into your character art, I hope this video will provide some helpful information. These are just some things that I've picked up over the years and I try to verbalize them as best as I can. I've got four main points that I'm going to be discussing with you and I'm just going to go over them one by one and then give a quick summary to let you know how I think these concepts uh, tie together in the end. And in the background, you're going to be looking at me basically just doing some quick figure studies and then I will show you exactly how I go about using these studies to create stylized character art right after. So here we go. So the first point I want to discuss is picking your focus. For every figure drawing session you do, you have to make sure that you pick something to focus on. Make sure that this focus is something you can apply to your stylized character art. Here's a list of possible separate things that you could potentially choose to focus on in any given study session. One, basic structure, building the body out of basic shapes and perspective. Two, bone structure, focus on finding the main shapes of the skeleton, such as the ribcage, the pelvis, skull. Three, muscular structure, focus on muscle masses and how they interact with each other, uh, the skeleton, etc. Four, gesture, focus on quick sketches to capture movement. Five, lighting and shadow, focus on rendering. So I could go on forever, but you get the idea. Each focus you pick will involve different timeframes and even different types of references. You could obviously go about this by picking whatever you think will be the most suitable for the thing that you're specifically studying. So obviously, if you want to study muscles, you're better off using references that don't have clothed figures etc. So remember that you could just do a bunch of things at once, but if you focus your attention to something specific, you will just learn it much faster and it will automatically incorporate itself into your art and become second nature with time. Tackling everything at once is both boring and frustrating at the same time. God knows I've spent many life drawing sessions in my first year of animation bored to death after the first 20 minutes, unfortunately. And we're talking about three hour sessions here. So it was bad. I had no idea how to apply focus back then. So don't make the same mistakes that I did and waste valuable time and pick your focus. So on to the next point, vital versus trivial information. Every reference photo contains a ton of visual information as I'm sure you're familiar with. And what you're trying to do as an artist is to narrow all this information down and condense it into a simplified representation that only communicates the essence of what you see. 
The idea is pretty straightforward and almost too obvious. Uh, I'm sure you've heard this many, many times before, but I find that the failure to consciously differentiate vital information from trivial information when doing figure studies from photos is one of the biggest roadblocks that prevents people from significant progress. To put it in a simpler context, it's kind of like falling into the trap of just copying what you see on autopilot. You might think this is silly because really, isn't making a study from a photo reference the same as just copying from the photo? Well, it could be, but that will actually get you nowhere very slow and we want to avoid that. So it's kind of like copying a sentence written in another language. You can probably duplicate it, but it won't help you understand what it actually says and you most likely won't be able to write it again from memory because it means nothing to you. So, back to trivial versus vital information. You can only differentiate the two if you have context, because the context will dictate how you pick out the information that you actually need. Think of your focus uh, as the context for picking this information. Once you set a specific focus for your study session, you can then start looking for this vital visual information within the photo. Let's say your focus is learning how to draw expressive and natural gestures which you can later apply to drawing your characters and with this in mind you can look for the following vital information what is the line of action what makes the pose recognizable as the action that it's depicting is there something about the posture what's the gesture of the hands the legs are there any clear shapes that stand out etc in this case, the trivial information will be the specifics of the model's hairstyle or hair color, the facial features, the facial likeness, the clothes he or she is wearing, the lighting and shadows, things that don't necessarily inform the pose. So the more you narrow down what it is that you're trying to study, the less attention you will need to waste on other things. You can learn faster this way. If your focus is clothing and folds, then you can similarly omit details like muscles or facial features or anything else. So always remember that the last thing you want to do is just be simply copying a photo on autopilot because that will get you nowhere. It's a waste of time. I mean, I'm sure you can probably learn a little bit by doing this, but it will be much, much faster if you pick a focus. So on to the next point simplification so you may think that the previous point was basically about simplification but it's not entirely accurate i think there are some pretty good reasons to separate the concept of vital versus trivial visual info from just simplification as a whole unless you're doing something like hyper realism simplification is just inevitable and actually contains a ton of subconcepts and that's the reason why i want to talk about simplification as a separate point mostly because i think it should be an active thought process only after you pick the focus and zero in on your vital visual info so once you know what you want to put down on your canvas, simplification actively comes into play. You always want to simplify things in order to aid the vital visual information. So let's say, for example, you want to put down an arched back because you decided that it's vital info to communicate a specific pose that you're trying to draw. You will need to simplify the line of the arched back in order to emphasize this visual, uh, this vital visual information. So these concepts tend to stack and once you have a grasp on them, it's not even something you will consciously be aware about anymore. It will just come naturally. And that's the goal ultimately to have these types of things come naturally to you. And the next inevitable point of focus is exaggeration and shape design. Depending on the level of stylization you're aiming for, you will need to exaggerate the simplified vital information you chose uh, to extract from your photo reference. Shape design in itself as a whole is this huge topic which I can't even begin to scratch the surface of in this video very quickly, but exaggeration is a very, very big part of it. So here's something to remember. 
Shape design is what happens when you consciously exaggerate and simplify vital visual information in order to enhance the beauty, clarity, and composition of whatever it is that you're trying to communicate. So shape design is one of the most difficult things to explain, unfortunately. So I will just try to tackle that in a separate video and I will think about it long and hard and see if I can actually explain it. So lastly, I believe that these four concepts should help you gain skill from figure drawing and bring those skills into your stylized characters easily. Why? Because when you focus on learning a specific fundamental skill, it becomes muscle memory and it becomes automatic. The worst trap you can fall into is trying to accurately depict the person you see in the photo or getting hung up on the exact accuracy of every fold, every muscle, or every facial feature, every strand of hair, every finger. Even when you inevitably bring some degree of simplification to this process, you still run the risk of going on autopilot and failing to develop or enhance any concrete new skill out of this type of studying. So to summarize, remember to pick a focus and use it as context for choosing vital visual information from the photo, and then use simplification and exaggeration of these vital elements in order to design the shapes in your figure study. This will help you learn skills that can directly translate into stylized character art. All right. Now that I went over all the concepts, I'll just tell you a bit about the sketch that I'm cleaning up on the screen. These are a couple of my characters, Sweet, the one with white hair, and Zero, the one with black hair. I love drawing my babies, but as you can see, their bodies look quite different from the photo reference that I was using. And this is excellent practice. Sweet and Zero have their unique body types, they're both very tall, but have some key differences in their figures. Zero is more lean and angular, while Sweet has more of a soft and rolling curves type of body. Since now I'm drawing specific characters, I no longer need the reference photo anymore. It's about taking my initial study and essentially distilling all the information that I transcribed and simplifying it and exaggerating it even further in order to accommodate the new focus, which is accurately depicting my characters. Since I've drawn them before, I don't really need a character reference sheet at this point, but making one initially, as I was designing them at first, helped me to get a very good idea of their unique features. So as you can see, I made some changes to the poses to accommodate the new context, which is, in this case, two girls taking a selfie together. All the instructions and stuff aside, this is so fun, you guys, it's the best. I love doing this type of stuff and it's exactly why I love drawing so much. Basically just boils down to drawing my characters, doing something, anything. I hope you all try to use the references to make this type of art with your own characters. I feel like I haven't had this much fun in ages and as you can see, it was a relatively quick um, drawing, all things considered. So. I hope you liked my first Reference Wednesday video, and like I mentioned in the beginning, the references that I used are from the Casual Female Reference Photo Pack by Studio Graffiti. I have a link below in the description with a discount code for 20% off, so check that out if you're interested. Let me know what some of your difficulties are with art. I'd love to know so that I can incorporate things into future episodes of the series. Hope you all are feeling inspired to make some character art of your own after seeing this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!